finds his way up past the 30. Number 33, the ball carrier. These are his numbers from last week's contest. And Charles, how do you think he ran the football? I thought he definitely had his moments. I did think that they could have utilized him a little bit better, and I'm definitely going to keep an eye on him to see how they're going to use him this week. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's how you pick up a first down. You know where the sticks are. You know where the first down marker is, and you find a way to get there. That's called having vision. He had a lot of vision last week, didn't he? NFC Offensive Player of the Week, he was dominant. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. For the running back. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Brings up third and three. Haskins on third down. And he locates Walker complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 44-yard line. It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. It's now second and six. And to give this time to the tailback. And he's going to be down close to a first down at the Ravens 35. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Third down. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Ravens 7. Washington, nothing. Haskins looking to throw on first down. And Walker has it. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. He'll go underneath here to his running back. Catch is made. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 12-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. It's Defense really run. sold out there to stop the run. Understandable down near the goal line. Now on second down, you have to wonder, might we see play action here and a flip right over the top? And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Like a freight train off the edge. Calais Campbell with a sack. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. From the gun, it's Haskins. 
And he will find his man on the outside. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. They do get eight out of the pitch and catch. However, it's fourth down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field. Sam so on fourth down, the Ravens will call on Sam Cook to punt it away. That's pulled in at the 32. So that one will be accepted. Automatic first down. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. And to give this time to the tailback. And he powers his way up past the 30. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. And he is the NFC reigning offensive player of the week. You got to think, all the guys that take the field each and every week, that's, that's not an easy award. Always has to feel good to grab. It has to feel great because it separates you, at least for a week, amongst your peers. And for him to separate again, he has to have the same type of a game. That means being explosive off the line of scrimmage and catching everything that comes his way. Now Haskins on first down. He gets it to Sims, complete. Not much there, only a yard. Complete. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. From midfield now, Haskins. Open man here, Sims complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And Latimer's got it. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It's an 11-yard pickup. Thought they'd run it on third and one. Not the case. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. Call it no gain there on the first down play. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Again, it's Haskins. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 19. From the red zone now, Haskins on first down. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Oh, no, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. That was a heck of an effort to stop him just short of the marker, but now they're going to need another big play on fourth down on defense, I believe, because offensively, they went from third and long to now it's a ghost situation here on fourth and inches. And no field goal try here from the red zone. Offense out there, they'll go for it on fourth. They'll try and run for it. And this is going to be nowhere close. Needed some inches and ended up losing yardage. Ron Rivera, the gambling type, but he comes up empty here. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. And they've now made two trips to the red zone and still looking for their first touchdown. 
Sam. Now the longtime Raven putter, Sam Cook on to put it away. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Start the third quarter here on the ground. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. At the 28-yard line. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And he finds McLaurin. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That's good for a Washington. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind. And this time, they get it to him the more conventional way. And it's much more successful as well. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. You give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass. But in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right. It might go to them in this game. I like that. MVU. Well done. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's got some space here. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. It's a first down Washington on a pickup of 18. He had a really solid first half running the football and picking up where he left off here in the third quarter. How about the yardage he's piling up right now? This feels like a full game, not just a series that we're watching right now. I know people are screaming, where are the adjustments from halftime on the defensive side of the ball? Sometimes they're just not there. Sometimes you just got to find a way to tackle someone. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Now they'll look to Haskins to throw it. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. He gets this down to the three, but no further. Brought the power run out of the bag and got a couple extra yards with it. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. They'll run here on third and goal. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three. He got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. The offense is staying out there. Here we go on fourth and goal from... And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And Washington now an extra point away from tying this thing up. So they went for it from the one on fourth and goal, and they got it done. Is this the new NFL? This is the new NFL. This is the updated. On 
on first down. It's Haskins. He's going to let this one go for Latimer. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Cody Latimer, the intended receiver. And it's second down. We've seen that the deep ball's been a part of their game plan all afternoon, but they've had trouble hooking up on it, unable to successfully find the end zone over the top. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Three. Washington on third down. They've hit four of seven. Here it's third and three. Out of the shotgun, Haskins. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Pass intended for Steven Sims. Here's Sam Cook now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's Chuck Clark picking it off. And he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. to the air. Haskins after the pick six. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Haskins out of the gun. And that's complete. It's Sims. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. And one. At their Looking to throw again on second down. Haskins. And he'll hit his tight end, Walker. And there is a flag, so a big second down pickup. But will it hold? to throw on second down. And he gets it complete to Latimer. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 40. 11 yards there, first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Three yards the game there, second down. This a second and seven from the 37. Haskins going to throw again. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Third down. Here's Haskins. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Give him six on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. Call that a punt. 
punt of 38 yards officially. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here's Haskins in the Washington offense. Trailing 17-10, a little over a minute to go. Their perfect start to the season in jeopardy unless they can score here as they've got it first and 10. He'll look to throw. That's complete to his receiver, McLaurin. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie. Because usually your rookie season, is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's we got us to overtime, and then we get the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for the Ravens, they're on a nice early roll.